Hey friends, it's Sarah from She's Crafty and She Knows It and today we're going to make these super cute little Easter egg cupcakes. So let's go ahead and get started. I went ahead and baked my Funfetti cupcakes just following the normal directions on the back of the box and then I already put my icing in a bowl and we're going to dye the icing with some gel food coloring. So nothing fancy, just a little box you can get at the grocery store and all of my supplies are linked in the description below this video. So we're gonna add a little bit of green food coloring just a little bit at a time and then stir it until you get the desired color. And so I'm just adding a little bit and then a little bit more. I just, I didn't want like too vibrant of a green so I wanted to make sure I kind of did it a little bit at a time until it was the perfect color. So go ahead and get your desired color green for the grass and then we'll move on to the next step. So now that this looks like the perfect green, we're gonna go ahead and ice the cupcakes. I do have some m and eggs and some sweet tart ropes here because I wasn't exactly sure what I was doing decoration wise. But we're gonna go ahead and use a piping bag. If you don't have piping bags, just use a Ziploc bag. Go ahead and cut the tip off and then we're gonna put this little tip right here. It's called a grass tip. You're gonna put that in your piping bag and that's what's gonna make the really cute little grass design on top of the cupcakes. I have the tip in the piping bag and it is ready to go. I normally just put my piping bag inside of a tall cup so that I can fill it with icing. It's the easiest way that I found to kind of go ahead and get all of the icing into the piping bag. Okay, so now go ahead and just spoon all of the icing into the piping bag. And now I'm gonna be honest, I usually have this little really cool little clip that you put at the end of the piping bag once all the icing's in there and it keeps the, the icing from like coming out the top of the piping bag while you're squeezing it and I could not find that clip anywhere. So I'm gonna twist the top of this piping bag the best that I can, but it might get a little bit messy and icing might start coming at the top of it. So don't judge me, I'm just being honest and upfront with you. Now I wasn't exactly sure which design I was going with. I had a couple ideas in my mind and so I've already iced a couple now that I know what I'm doing, but we're gonna get started. I'm gonna show you how I ice these cupcakes with the little grass tip. So this is nothing fancy. All I really did is just kind of zigzag some icing on there just to get a base coat. Of course you could like spread a base coat with a knife just straight out of the bowl of icing if you wanted to. I just kind of did this zigzag to cover it and then this is where you do the grass part. You kind of just dip the tip towards the cupcake and pull it straight up. So you're just barely squeezing out. It's a very small amount and you're just doing that over and over again over the entire cupcake. Now if you didn't do the base coat kind of zigzagging the way that I did, it's gonna take a lot of this squeezing and pulling back, squeezing and pulling back. And so I went ahead and did that whole base coat just for that reason. That way you can fill in here and there and still get the grass look without having to do 500 little tiny um, dabs, if that makes sense. And then once you have the grass done the way that you want it, you just go ahead and add your little Easter M&M eggs on top and it looks like the cutest little mound of grass with Easter eggs on top. And these eggs actually came in different flavors like peanut butter and peanut and milk chocolate. I was shocked at how many different Easter M&Ms they had. So go check out all the different Easter M&Ms. But I just thought these turned out so cute and it's just something different than the normal um, cupcake with icing put on the way that you normally would do it. So I love how the grass tip looks and it's so festive and such a quick and easy way to do Easter cupcakes. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe for more videos. Bye.